Alright guys, in this video I'm showing you some of these changes from the Season 1 Reloaded Update and Zombies. Let's go. I already know this video is going to get at least 50 likes because I'm going over some of these changes from the Season 1 Reloaded Update. Some good, some not as good, in my opinion, guys. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now, I just killed this abomination, and I've done this a few times after the update. And I can tell you, they have definitely nerfed the abomination loot. Used to drop PAP 2s, PAP 3s, Ether tools, legendary, schematics, ray guns, and all that good stuff. And recently, they nerfed it. So now it's just little stuff like ammo mods and large rugs three plate vests which is still good but just not as good when the ver game first came out but you still get 1500 essence all right guys now speaking of the red zone they have definitely increased the amount of contracts in the red zone which is good and one of these new contracts to the red zone is sport control now when i first saw this I was really excited because this is one of my favorite contracts in the other zones, man. So they added it in tier three. So now you can do sport control. And I love doing sport control because I mean, it's so easy to do. However, you still gotta keep your wits about you because you know it's the red zone guys, it's high threat. So, you know, you still gotta keep those monkey bombs and decoy grenades and cashmere grenades and all that stuff man because they are coming with a vengeance as soon as you kick this off guys so now i kind of curious to see what the loot is on these contracts and i was really kind of hoping for some better loot on these as well but maybe this is just my luck but you know i got a medium rucksack all right guys now still in the red zone but i don't know if this was just my luck on this particular gameplay but it seems like there's sometimes less deadbolt turrets than i'm used to I'm used to seeing three deadbolt turds spawned in the red zone, but seems like, you know, at times there's only two. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. Have you seen two instead of three after the update or before the update? Maybe it's just me, but just something I want to point out. And speaking of the red zone again, seems like there's less zombies in the red zone making it somewhat easier um i hardly ever been able to just kind of take my time shoot a little bit of zombies and do some looting you know take my time kind of at the buy station because normally i'm just harassed by these high threat zombies when i'm just taking my time and chilling and it seems like i can chill a little bit more now at certain times um i don't know maybe it's just me but i find it the red zone a little bit easier and i'm kind of finding more loot as well like i don't remember ever been able to find a juggernaut just by a random loot in the red zone all right guys so stepping out the red zone and into the medium threat zone i want to talk about the bounties they made the bounties a lot stronger now you see the little icon above the the bounties now the little skull with the horns very similar to the warlords like the warlords have that same uh kind of like a skull with the horns and they are definitely strong as well so these bounties are definitely stronger however still dropping about the same kind of loot for the most part like of uh, this rare ether tool you know i kind of hope for better loot but now this is a mangler still in the medium threat zone but i just want to show you guys they are a lot stronger now now you, and this is a pap 3 legendary weapon i'm using um, still easy for the most part, but definitely a lot stronger now and not so good loot. <laughs> All right, guys, the last thing I decided to do was go and visit the old warlord area in that castle, the legacy stronghold castle area, just to see what's going on in this area since we have a new warlord in the tower. And I'm not going to say 100% for sure yet. But uh, this may be the new really good loot spot since it used to be the tower. Up in the tower, the really good loot spot. You guys already know that. I did a couple videos on that already. But this may be. Um, this was a really good uh, time on this map. But I'm just going to keep trying this area a few more times even after this. Just so I can confirm. But I did find some good loot in this area. 
And the difference now is, you know, there's no, you know, there used to be a whole lot of Mercs here, but now not so much. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to keep looking. Uh, who knows? But speaking of the new Warlord, the Carby, now I did beat her very easily. Um, so I will put that video at the end of this video. Go ahead and check that out. It's a really good strategy on beating the new Warlord. And yeah, man, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.